guys, so we're here at the customer's house and we're going to do another test. We're going to sign up which light bulb that people should be putting in their house. I'm talking about for health, not so-called energy efficiency. Now, if there wasn't a smart meter on this uh, house, the LEDs actually uh, would save you money. It's another subject matter, but LEDs with a smart meter, the way they do the calculations of the amps and the voltages, you save no money on utilities. But what's worse than that is it's actually very detrimental to your health. I'm going to show you right now today. So this is an oscilloscope, okay? This is a typical 60 hertz cycle. And when I turn on the tr traditional light bulb put up, made up, made by Edison, it should, it should mimic the same look because it's the same cycle, 120 volt. There's no jagginess to it at all. So let's go and turn this on. And you see perfect sine wave. That's exactly what you want to see. And, and 120 volts. And it's no noise. This actually would put out a noise if it's toxic. Okay, it's 120 volts. That's what you want, okay? So I'm going to go on. Now I'm also going to take this is about a 3,000 hour piece of equipment here. Let's find out what wavelength this is. Okay. So oh, that's getting part of my screen there. Let me get over here a little bit. I got my screen in there. Okay. So you see how this is more smooth? It's low in the blue. It's a little bit of a bump there in the in the in, in, but this is a normal spectrum. This is why your eyes won't be damaged with an incandescent or, or a halogen light bulb because it's more consistent. It's like the sun. The sun puts out a tremendous amount of energy, but it's more evenly spectrum. If your dominant blue in this 450 area, it's extremely toxic. It will damage your eyes. So let's go ahead and do the light bulbs that supposedly save the polar bear. Let's go to that and. It's, Kind of hot there, but that's okay. We need the heat in the wintertime. No, no more talks about that. Benefits in the wintertime. Let's move this over here like this. And now I'm going to grab, let's grab all oh, the old CFLs, uh, light bulbs. You remember the ones that have mercury in them? You know, the one supposed to, supposed to spend 10, 15 bucks for a light bulb. And it's supposed to last for like 10, 15 years. They never did. You know, these are all made in China. So let's see what this does to the sine wave. Look at that. Look at the noise. And it's not running on 120 volts. It's auto plays. So you have the jagged. We hear the noise. And now let's take the, spec, let's take the spectrum analyzer. See what it does. That's why people are getting sick. See it is spiking there? It's flickering. Millions and millions of times a second making people sick. So let's go ahead and go back to the LEDs. You know, ones that are super energy efficient. They don't have mercury in them. So let's grab... The old LED, the old LED right here. I'm gonna save the polar bear. So, and look at that. Look how much noise. Now imagine if a house has 30 of these. How noisy it is. Now let's see, get the spectrum analyzer here. What wavelength is this? Okay, it's, so it's pulsing. Right in that, it's got a lot of blue pulsing. These are actually one of the better ones, too. So these actually act like a beam. So when you have those little light emitting diodes, let me see there, okay. So you have the light emitting diodes, they actually put out a beam. It's a beam technology. It doesn't put out an inverse law type of light. It's a beam, beam type technology. And that blue light will help damage our eyes, also uh, our pollinating bugs. One more time. So let's go go back to the original one here. So we'll take off, turn that off. It's quiet. Let's go back to our back to my ones that Edison made. Okay, go back to that. Turn back on. Let's get a little more color rated right here. 60 hertz sine wave. Quiet. Go back to the spectrum analyzer. Okay, so there you go. So that's why this is more evenly. So you don't have the pulsing. Actually, some of the other incandescents do a little bit better job than us. But this is why you should never buy an LED. It, everything's an inversion of the truth. Do exactly the opposite you're told to do, told to do on TV. All right, thanks. Mm -hmm. Thanks,